All right, we're a little over 24 hours away from a national champion being crowned, and we're here where it's all going to happen, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and I get to spend a little time with the Alabama and Georgia side of things, former student-athletes who can talk real now. <laughs> so we got Jonathan Allen, our Darius Stewart from Bama, and you guys are outnumbered, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Tavares King, Aaron Murray, and Brandon Boykin from Georgia. I'm going to start with Bama because you guys have, like, short stack. What's it like? <laughs> what's it like when you go to sleep the night before playing in a national championship game? The, the preparation process, what's going through your mind? Like, are y'all just going to see movies and play video games? I'm trying to understand. What, sleep? No, no sleep. No sleep? The game. No, it's been like that since Little League, though, you know. And that fire is still burning, you know, especially for a big game. You know, coming to this stadium, you're just thinking about all the fans that's going to be in here and stuff. Like, butterflies, like, it's, it's, it's just hard to go to sleep. So, uh, it's pretty much ready, ready time. A lot of things going through your mind. Um, um, for me, I just try to stay calm as possible, so I don't really think about it too much. Just watch the TV, watch a movie, and just try to get some sleep. But like you said, it's hard. It's definitely hard. You just think about your assignments, what you got to do. So, I mean, it's one of the things you just got to just got to try to prepare for it and get, make sure you don't get too hyped before the game so you're ready when the game comes. Well, for me, I was a guy that always – sticking to my traditions and my regimen. So I'm super superstitious. Um, I can't relate to playing in the national championship game like eight, five times or six times, you know what I'm saying? How but, many times, guys? Yeah, How many yeah, times? It's only two. Uh, I've been twice, you know, been twice. Uh, that's all. Uh, that's that's right. it? That's it? Oh, that's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know y'all have numbered out here. Calm down with the talk. But, uh, but, but honestly, uh, we played in a lot of big games at Georgia. And uh, for me, it was as soon as dinner was over, I went to my room, I watched a movie, whatever that was, and then it was pure focus time. I turned my phone off and uh, just got ready for the game. So I think for these guys, no matter what type of game it is, a regular game, national championship, they got to continue to do the same things they've been doing the whole year and just get that comfortable feeling of just another game. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it was preparation during the week. I always felt great Friday night or for these guys Sunday night. If I knew I did everything I needed to do during the week, if I watched enough film, if I had a great week of practice, if I just felt really good, I slept fine. If I had a bad week of practice or maybe I'm like, I still don't know when they're rolling down to cover three or when they're going to go cover two or cover four. That's going to kind of drive me nuts a little bit. Then I'm going to be staying up a little longer, watching some more film. But like I said, the majority of the time, if I just grinded away during the week, got after it, had, you know, had a great week, Friday night, just watch a movie, get some ice cream, you know, maybe a little cookie, cookie, hang out, I'm like, do a little dessert. <laughs> because you know you put in the work, so there's nothing more you can do at that point. You just got to make sure you're well rested, wake up, go over your plays you know, one or two more times, and then go out there and play. Yeah, I mean, everybody everybody kind of hit it. Um, I just kept the main thing the main thing, really, and that was just... Wait, were y'all saying that when you were at Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> I, I we started it. No, we started thing. a long time ago. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, TK, he's always first. Everyone's first. just a little slower. Wait, are you for real, though? Because these yeah, guys they, are acting like they just made they it up. They swagged by it, off They off did. Off of they, 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 they took it. Oh, OBSD, <laughs> you got to get it, my boy TK credit. Okay, I'm going to start doing it because I was like, they just made it up this yeah, year. I'm the one telling them. Credit TK, we don't know that one. Credit, credit my key. son. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was Dr. Elka. Uh, nah, it was Dr. TK. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, but nah, you know, really, just I, I try to keep everything the same. Like these guys, um, you know, after dinner, Go up to my room, watch a movie. And that was it, really. I'm just trying to keep this as possible. Okay, it's time to hit the trash talk real quick. Uh -oh. Why does Alabama win this game? 11 and 0 against former assistants and history repeats us. We've been here, we've been there, done that. We, are, we own this, we own it, we got it. Alabama got it, bro. totally. Like, so they, didn't even, they didn't even do X's and O's. Not, it was like, no, we no, just got no, no. this game. Listen, listen, <laughs> You're not going to beat Alabama playing Alabama football. Right. And we already lost one, so we mad. Mm -hmm. We mad right now. Yeah, they let us back mad. in. They let us back in. It's over with. I'm going to let you know. Well, hey, first of all, I know it's 11 and 0 versus former assistants, but what, when has he played the number two team in the country with an assistant who has been with them through national championships, understands what it is to play in playoff games, to play in national championships. But And I know you want to say, oh, they played Florida State beginning of the year with Jimbo, but we've seen all year long that it's not a very good Florida State football team, even with or without their quarterback. So this is by <laughs> far the best team Nick has played. Nick Saban's played as a former assistant coach. But X's and O's wise, I agree with these guys. I mean, identical football teams. you got two of the best defenses in the country. You have two offenses that – 
if they can't run the football, it's a done deal for both of them. So Just look at it's going to be who, who can run the ball, who can get it going early. Man, that, all that sweet talk and all that, you know, being politically correct is nice. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. Marie, it's, it's time for Georgia to get the respect that they deserve. Okay. Yeah. First of all, this is not the Alabama team of old. Georgia got the world's attention last week as they went to the Rose Bowl. He said beat, the world. The John. world's attention. As they went to the Rose Bowl, they beat a Heisman winner. And they watched us play in the SEC Championship. They had to sneak. They had to sneak into it. So, the way I look at it, the way I look at it, you guys are you guys are all of a sudden we're the underdogs. We're not the underdogs here. This 2018. You could have you could have you could have flipped the coin. 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 Either one could have won. You could have coached. Oh what? You could have flipped the coin. Y'all got everything from Alabama. Y'all got everything from Alabama. That's great. Oh no. No 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 no. We're two new, good football new, teams. New, 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 We're a great team. Y'all watched us playing in, in, play in, play in, in the SEC championship. Oh. And how do y'all come back and get a chance to play for the national We don't want another one. I got three of those. That's great. We get those every year. We get those every year. Y'all are the underdog tomorrow. We are the head honcho in the SEC right now. Talk about it. We, hey. we done created a culture that's going to stick. So, so I want y'all to know this year, next year, the year's going to be our coach. coach. It's, 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 it's the new our SEC. Coach. I want y'all to see that. We, we let them borrow a coach. We, we had to. We had to let them borrow our coach, right? No, we had too many. We had too many. We came home. We came home. Oh, no. Hey, we didn't appreciate you teaching him and fostering him and bringing him along. We appreciate that. Teaching y'all. I like the direction. I like the direction we're heading. We're not even the heart. They took our fourth quarter hand. They changed Wait, it to a no. Georgia Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where they do that at? Oh, man. Okay, this, okay. Y'all, y'all brought up coaches, the idea of coaches. You're right. Kirby Smart, you know, he's uphill battle. Mm -hmm. Saban's 11-0 against former assistants. But everyone talks about, oh, Saban's so different in the way that he built his program. is so different. And now you guys have been in the league. You guys have been in different programs. How is it different? What makes Saban great? I mean, to be honest, it's not different. I think that's the biggest thing. Him being an NFL coach, you know, once before and bringing like the NFL field to the to the college grounds, like it makes like us not only a good football player but a better person and a better man. You know, uh, once you learn how to, you know, get your resumes down and uh, do things, you know, how they're supposed to be done. I mean, it, it, it all makes it easier. You know, him having the mindset of like I'm gonna make this guy a better person as well as a player. Uh, it makes everyone, you know, the camaraderie of the team, you know, good. So. Uh, that's how we win, you know. Uh, all the guys being on on the same page and you know rocking with each other off the field, on the field, you know. I mean, it makes a big difference. So I mean, uh, just like you know, Kirby does the same thing. He's trying to get all the guys, his guys, on the same page, and uh, it's it's made their team better. I feel like he's a great leader, man. I mean, X and O's is important, but just for the amount of talent we have and the amount of personalities you have in there to get all those guys to buy in, it's tough and it's, and it's difficult. And I feel like he does a good job of doing that. So that's kind of what makes Coach Saban successful, you know, everybody buys in and puts their own self gains aside to help the team out. What's the funniest Nick Saban story you guys have? I know you got a few. Uh, probably after the SEC, was that the SEC championship when he started dancing? It wasn't too much of a dance, it was like a little, a little bop, but it was uh, like off uh, rhythm. We was trying to get him to do the dab and everything, but he got the, you know, doing the, doing the, the bop, but look, we got something out of him, so it was pretty good for us. <laughs> What's your favorite My story? favorite, I don't I'm trying to figure out which one is appropriate for TV. I mean, <laughs> look, there's, there's so many of them, man. Coach Saban is. He probably talks a lot smack about basketball. He story is, I, I was in the training room my freshman year, and he comes in with like those 1980s like quarter shorts, like knee high socks, and his like New Balances on. Oh my gosh, went out there playing basketball. That's probably the funniest thing I've ever seen Coach Saban do. Well, uh, when you when you win a national championship, sorry guys, I can't ask you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're just sitting down there. Right? I know. You want to be sitting by the champions or whatever. But yeah, y'all yeah, look good. Though, but y'all look good. Um, appreciate that. What's that moment like? Because it's the culmination of everything that you've been working for. You finally get it. Like, laugh, cries, scream. What What are you doing? It's, it's unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? Like, going through the whole year, like, wanting to make, wanting that to be the goal. You know? Like, everyone wants that ring. Everyone wants to be that last team playing. You know, that last team smiling and having fun with your, uh, your friends, but I mean, there's a lot of hard work put into it, and, uh, blood, sweat, and tears definitely went into it, all that summer workouts and training, the fourth quarter program, all the, the running and all that stuff we had to do, it all paid off, you know, uh, it's just a sense of relief, you know, 
and hey, we finally did it. You know what I'm saying? And there's just nothing that can beat that, that moment. You know, it's one of the biggest moments of, you know, of our life. That's something that no one can take away from us. Something that we worked for and we went and got it. You know? For me, I'll probably say, what was next? I got it, and then I sat down, I was like, so what's the next thing to go for? After the championship? After, after, after the, the championship. national championship. It, for me, it was one of the things you enjoy more after you're done playing it. But when you're going through it, I mean, I didn't know if I was going to leave or I was going to come back. So I was just kind of just like, hey, like, where do I go from here? You know, so I didn't really take it all in at the moment. But looking back, it was definitely one of the greatest things and most important things I've ever accomplished in my life. Uh, and how does it make you guys feel to see Georgia at this level? I feel like, I mean, everything is built on something else. Well, you just, guys put in the work. You, you help we're proud of these guys. I mean, they deserve it. They work their tails off. I think you got to go back to the, the leadership from not only from Kirby but from the seniors. Those guys, you could have put a handful of guys that have been first round, second round, third round draft picks last season. They say, listen, we got something special right now. we got a great group of guys. We have a phenomenal coach, and, and we can do something phenomenal this year. And you saw last week in Oklahoma, an uh, inexperienced team, a team with not great leadership, would have completely caved. They would have lost that football game, and they'd be home right, right now watching that game. But the leadership between Kirby and those guys like Sony and Nick, some of those guys on defense is what put them through that game. And, and I think that's what, what's going to help them today. I mean, they've been through the struggles. They know what it is to be down, to be out, to lose to Auburn, to be down against Oklahoma, but to continue to fight to get where they want to go. So... Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of the ways they've been able to grind, how they've been able to turn it around, and I'm just looking forward to a great game tomorrow. I think it's two of the, obviously two of the best teams in the country, two, the two best teams in the country, and they're going to put a show on. I'd say it's, it's special, you know, just even for us, and we're not playing, but um, Georgia, you know, football is a brotherhood, so uh, we keep in contact with these guys, you know, even though we're not playing, whether it's social media or whether we're at the game, you know, so they know our faces and we talk. So for them to be here, um, something that we all aspired to do, but we, we couldn't do. Um, you know, it, it just makes us feel like we're playing. We left a legacy, and, and they built on it. And, uh, you know, Georgia now has that, that national recognition and that spotlight, you know, uh, from the nation and what we were trying to do. So um, it's such a special feeling to just, you know, be from Atlanta or, or be from the state of Georgia, play at the University of Georgia, and have the actual national championship be in Atlanta. It doesn't... It seems like the stars are aligned. Yeah, together. everything's that's aligned. That's scary for I'm y'all, or are you okay with that? You don't care what... I don't worry about that. <laughs> We've we been to three straight national championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it go. 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 But me, yeah, I'm, I'm just extremely excited for those guys. What Kirby's done with this program is tremendous. You know, he's been there two years and, and just has uh, done some phenomenal things. And for them to be here where they are and, and uh, get to get this far and, and do what they're doing is just tremendous. All right, guys, last thing I need you to do is come up with some kind of bet that has to be followed through with on social media so I can trace it. Oh, so track it. man. Okay. What you got? Y'all got some sweats. 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 Y'
Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. I'm going to need a 3 8 pick. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, I appreciate the time. Seriously, this was fun. This is exactly what we wanted it to be. Good luck to both sides. Roll Tide, go dog. Okay. That's them. Fun players of the SEC. Thank you. Get the gator.